Uh, ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea dog choose man's remote. Let the story commence. I called Craig. He went like that to change the channel on the telly. Couldn't do it. He went like that. Couldn't do it. He looked. There was nothing there. His dog had chewed the fucking remote up. I was like, what? He went like that. Huh? There was no remote. He's like, what? He looked in and his dog, which was called Jamesy, had chewed up the remote, chewed it up. It was in pieces, bits of plastic, the rubber bit was out, circuit board lying. But here's the thing. When he went at his dog, he went, bad boy, bad boy. And the dog just, to tidy up the mess, the dog was clever but, but kind of stupid. A bit like me. It thought to itself, I always, I think I get into trouble when I'm leaving all these bits and pieces about, I know, I'll eat it. So as Craig was walking up to James, he got that bad dog. No. James ate the dog ate the remote he ate it he ate the whole thing Craig went like no and ran up to stop it thinking it's going to it's going to hurt itself he thought fuck if I've been too strict I know that I'm not strict I just got that bad dog when he's just ripping up the bed and fucking torn bits out the couch I saw he said oh, fuck man I'm going to get to jail people are going to think I fucking forced the fucking remote down its fucking throat But he went like that, there, 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 and he's like, ah, I better, what should I do, phone the vets, and I uh, phone the vet, and oh, fuck, Jesus Christ. And he was going like that, and he was getting a wee clap, you know, like that, on the belly. When he did that, the telly changed channel. He went, What? Must be a coincidence. So you went like that, the other side. It changed channel again. And the volume went up a wee bit. He went like this. What is it? That's the channel up, channel up. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 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 Channel down. Channel down. There's your channel done. Channel down was about there, just under, on the left hand side, on the kind of, just under the kind of rib cage sort of bit. That was channel down. Channel up would probably be up a bit, but it wasn't, it was on the other side. And see, to switch the, the telly off at night, he had to get a scratch, like that in the belly. You know, so it was then the kick. With a back leg. Like that. He had to do that. To get the volume up again. It changed day, day by day. That, get the volume down. That to change the channel. That to put on the kind of like eye player sort of thing there. Get a clap. <laughs> what Craig did they know? <laughs> And this is how clever me James was, the dog. James could control it. He knew he could do anything that he wanted. It wasn't here and there. He he could just do it any time he wanted. But he just made Craig think that he had to give him a clap and do all that. All the time, just so he got a nice wee clap. And a wee scratch and a wee play. Clever, clever, clever dog. Clever dog. And I swear to God. Um, eventually, uh, he did have to go, he did get ill, the dog did get ill, 
the organs and intestines were sort of getting fucked up, but it did get taken to the vets, operated on, and it was fine. Right? It's still alive right now, and it's fine. But it kept it up for about a year. And honestly, that dog could definitely say that was like the best year of its life. And let's not forget that a dog year is like 20 of our years. So that was the best 20 years of its life. Seven. Ah, that's what I said. The best seven years of its life. What a good boy. The end. Such a well-behaved wee dog. <laughs>